us when the, there's been an outcry from the community that we are looking for unbiased, we are looking for, you know, folks that are impartial. We are in trying to move this forward. I, I just think that, you know, what is option, you know, plan A, B, now we might need a C uh, to help address this particular issue. I, I don't, I just don't see how we are going to successfully accomplish the task before us um, having two different map drawers, one, you know, representing Republicans, one representing Democrats, and then, you know, the two become one. I don't, I don't see how we're going to make it happen without that one entity that could come to the drawer, come to the, the um, forefront with, again, uh, looking at the maps, helping to direct us uh, with certainly a, a, a less biased approach or uh, unbiased approach. I, I just don't, don't, I don't see it. And I may be totally wrong and not uh, the great visionary that some of these folks are who think that this can happen, successfully happen. Um, I, I just, um, you know, I, I'm hoping that there's another plan and that is to go back to the drawing board and find another entity that could represent all of us in a more, much more um, unbiased way. Thank you. Madam Chair? Yes. Virginia Madam, Thornton. Madam. Go ahead, okay. um, Ms. Thornton. I, I am part of that community that is outcrying as a, as a citizen commissioner, but I feel that I would not be doing the duty that I'm supposed to if I'm not hearing from both sides of the council that they've agreed upon a particular unbiased entity to do map drawing. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm all for a single map drawer, but I would behoove, you know, all parties that both legal sides of legal counsel have agreed that that would be an unbiased um, mapping group. Mm -hmm. Madam so, Chair. So I think Mr. Kumar and then Mr. Feliciano. Thank you, Madam Chair. And I'm going to have to drop off uh, here in a moment, unfortunately, due to a work obligation. I agree with uh, Delegate and McDougall. Um, you know, I think to continue to go down the path, I mean, obviously we are where we are, and it's disappointing to a lot of us and to, I think, a lot of citizens of the Commonwealth. And, I mean, we got 8.6 million Virginians. Can you speak and, up, Mr. Kumar, uh, please? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, yeah. So, um, it, you know, we're trying to do right by, you know, 8.6 million Virginians, and I think we're overweighted by concern of what 140 elected officials now, uh, what they may want, and and while at the end of the day that is going to have to to pass by them, um, that doesn't mean we start from a point of what they are willing to accept, right? I mean, we have an obligation, everyone on this, to the citizens of Virginia, to try to do things differently, and that doesn't mean it's going to be completely nonpartisan, but it should be less partisan than the old way. Otherwise, this amendment has no purpose. So, I would um, ask that we that we ask our council to go back if they did not consider out-of-state um, experts that may be neutral, um, I think we should do so. I don't know if they did. I know we, in a prior meeting we said, well, we need people to, to know Virginia. Well, we know Virginia. When we get those maps back and need to smooth things out, um, we'll be able to do that. And they'll have our guidance. So if we haven't done that, I ask that we do that. Uh, and, and I think having two sets, of, of maps and two sets of map drawers is going to be a big mistake. And part of this is also going to be cost. Um, so I know that there's also been some um, discussion about uh, some uh, elected members of our commission reaching out to legal counsel on their own and then driving up the costs. And um, I won't be on for that discussion if it happens today, but I'd like that to be addressed as well. <laughs> 